Hello everyone, my name's Mike Sherry. I'm with Paul Sherry RVs, and we do sell RVs nationwide at generally the very best price in the United States. And I'm actually gonna do a video about how we do that, how we're able to offer the best price in the United States. I was just thinking about that right before I started this video, so make sure you look for that on YouTube. But one thing we do do is we don't do a lot of TV, radio, newspaper type advertising because we recognize that that's really just a waste of money. Instead, I put that money towards better pricing for uh, said trailer, like this trailer behind me. For example, I could have spent uh, you know, $20,000 in advertising on television this month. Instead, I spent that money to make sure my prices are $20,000 better across the board. So that's one, one thing that we do here at Paul Sherry RVs that are a little bit different. All right, behind me is the top selling manufacturer of travel trailers in America. It's their best-selling mom-and-pop floor plan and this is the Forest River Gray Wolf 23 MK. This trailer is the all-new 23 MK. 2020 is the model year on it but this is what the 2021s will look like. How you denote the difference in the Gray Wolf product is the blue strip here on the siding. It's, it's uh, a little bit thicker than the strip on the 2020 so across the way here we've got a service customer notice how thin the blue line is on that silver gray wolf over there compared to this so this is the all new 2020s that's how you tell them apart but that is just one of many things that they have changed to make this trailer even better for this upcoming model year still has the aerodynamic front end here comes standard with power tongue jack here we at paul sherry's we do fully prep all of our RVs uh, and that includes filling the propane and providing a brand new battery at no additional cost to you. The Grey Wolf and Cherokee lineup paints the exterior of their travel trailers and fifth wheels where a lot of the competition uses decals and stickers. Forest River recognizes that those decals and stickers don't like to last for more than really a year. So what they've done instead and it's more costly to do that is they went ahead and painted all their exterior metal. They also offer some of the nicest features in the industry, such as this. This is your water heater, and this water heater works on two modes of power, both electric and propane. Most of the competition in this price point are only offering a propane, and a lot of them don't even offer the one that lights itself. This, this water heater here lights itself. It's direct spark ignition, they call it, and it also has an electronic or electric element in it, so you can work it off just electricity. Say the campsite has uh, free power, or you already pay for your power, and it doesn't matter how much you use, might as well use that on electric mode. Outside shower here, also comes standard with black tank flush. Again, not an option you typically see in this price point of trailer. That black tank flush is going to uh, keep that black tank or your toilet tank from stinking, and when it does, you can clean it out easily. Looking at the undercarriage here, you notice it is insulated undercarriage, so you can camp in this in a little bit uh, earlier in the spring, a little bit later in the fall, but this by no means is a four season camper. Again, by no means is this a four season camper. Really, anything in this price point is not going to be four seasons. Someone tells you otherwise, do your research. Two axles on this. Also, we have the travel rack. This is a standard option on all Grey Wolves and Cherokees. Uh, comes with a spot for your spare tire. That spare tire is an option, however. Uh, we put it on a lot of ours. Uh, check out our website right there. But this rack folds down. The spare tire stays on. You can put up to 200 pounds of stuff on there. Great for bicycles. If you're going to haul a generator, that's a good spot for it. And different items you can put on there. Let your imagination run wild with that. But just, it's always nice to have extra storage space. Notice the crown roof on the Gray Wolf. Also comes standard with a power awning with LED lighting underneath. And new for the 2020 and a half, uh, this is now standard, this outside uh, deluxe mini camp kitchen, which is coming with your refrigerator here dorm style refrigerator even has a freezer spot up here uh, so you can put a couple hot pockets in there uh, and then it has an ice maker here sorry about that and also has a spigot here hot and cold water so that is a nice nice feature and then i like here this uh the actual lid or the door uh, makes for a nice workstation 
tabletop workstation. So that's a nice featured hat. Coming up uh, underneath the awning here, we have outside speakers. You can play your radio or music through that. I'll show you that once we get inside. And also has a spot for a television, so you can mount your television right on this. Comes from the factory like that, which is nice. Uh, coming under here, we have uh, storage. So this is some outside storage compartment in here. Uh, this is going to be underneath your bed, uh, and it goes nearly to the other side, and then we have even more underneath the bed. I like here how they put this carpeted felt type material down. Keeps your items from sliding around. Uh, where a lot of the competition just uses the linoleum, uh, they add that felt in there. Friction hinge door, standard on all Cherokee products. This door stays put wherever you leave it. That eliminates the need for any type of latch system, uh, which if you've been around older campers, those latches tend to break. Comes with the more ride entry steps, two entry step here which is a standard feature on this. And again, under 5,200 pounds. So you can tow this with nearly any half ton pickup on the market. A lot of SUVs are able to tow this. So definitely uh, easy to tow trailer here. Walking in, we notice that the very rear of the, the trailer, we have a nice couch. This couch does come out for extra sleeping like a futon would and a lot of windows. Uh, a lot of the blinds on this for the 2020s are these new zebra, zebra blinds really attractive let almost no light in or a lot of light depending where you stop them and they go up and down real simple all right so sitting on the couch we have our u dinette table off to the left here fireplace built in television goes right above the fireplace and then kitchen off to our right to give you an idea of what we're looking at so let's start with the kitchen because some changes have happened here for the 2020 and a half uh, the big change is this new refrigerator it's a furion refrigerator 10 cubic footer uh, what i like about it is this fridge takes up the exact same space as your seven cubic foot rv refrigerator uh, so it doesn't take up any more physical space. They have just enlarged the usable space of the refrigerator. And also this refrigerator is 110% 12 volt power. So uh, it's very energy efficient. And that is, in my opinion, the way that the industry is gonna go to 12 volt refrigerators. Just a simple design, less moving parts, less things that can go wrong compared to the RV dual mode fridges. Stove top is all gas. And same with the stove itself. Has a nice, easy to clean backsplash there. Uh, the countertop in this is going to be a seamless countertop. So you notice here, there's no seam here like a lot of the cheap countertops would have. Uh, the trouble with those seamed countertops is water gets in them and they swell up and they're never the same, right? So this comes with the barn style stainless steel sink. It's actually a black stainless and it has the faucet to match it. And then it has this cool, countertop that goes over top of it for when you're not using it some good storage down here we have a couple drawers over here put a lot of stuff in them notice how deep they are okay then across from that we have the u dinette uh, this dinette is a little bit larger than what i've seen in other trailers uh, that allows for at least five people to sit around instead of just three allows for when it does come down for a bigger bed now that table is going to fall down into the wooden slats and then the cushions will fold flat if you haven't seen that uh, it's really cool extra sleeping and then underneath the dinette we have some really i mean really long drawers here so you can fit a lot of things in those a lot of things all right and then your entertainment system right here. So it starts down low here. You have a spot to kick off your shoes. Just throw them in there. Have a little storage cabinet there. And then above that, there is a radio. This radio plays those speakers I showed you outside. And also there's speakers inside in the ceiling here. But it's uh, Bluetooth ready. Uh, so you can pair it with your phone or tablet. And also it is uh, AM, FM. So if you just want to go old school and listen to the radio, you can do that as well. 30 inch space heater fireplace, really nice. And then your television goes right here. Same type of mount that's on the outside as on the inside. And then there's hookups up top here. There's actually an HDMI hookup pre-wired in from the radio. Uh, so you can plug in uh, maybe a DVD player or that radio does have an insert for a thumb drive. 
So you can play some movies off that. Let's see if I can get this to work. Watch the light in the ceiling here. Oh, I don't know if you caught that, but it clicked on. So the light in the bathroom is motion detecting, which I like. So you wake up in the middle of the night, uh, you walk in here and fumbling for the light switch. It, you don't need to fumble because it just turns on when it sees you or when it sees your motion. I don't think there's any cameras in here. Skylight in the shower. Uh, this shower does have the glass around, which is nice. And then there's ledges there for your soaps and stuff. I like this bathroom. It's a walkthrough bathroom. So we starting to see more of these. This used to be an industry norm and they've kind of gone away from it. But the walkthrough bathroom gives you a lot of space. A lot of storage space, as you can see there in the cabinets. But just a lot of footprint space. There's a lot of room here to get dressed in the morning, which can be a challenge, uh, especially if you have guests over. You know, where do I get dressed at? Where do they get dressed at? Uh, so it's a nice private area to actually do that. And that allows you just to have more room overall, more room to actually sit on the stool, uh, more room for towels and things. Uh, I just really appreciate a walkthrough bathroom. And all Cherokee and Grey Wolf products, they put the nice attic fan up there in the bathroom. All right, solid door is going to bring us into the master bedroom, which will feature a queen, yep, queen bed. You can walk all the way around on all three sides of this bed as well. Show you here, yep, good footprint there. And then on both sides of the bed, there is power, both USB and 110 volt, and hanging rod storage behind the mirrored wardrobe and then good storage above as well and then if we want to go down under we've got some storage down under the bed too all right that completes this walkthrough on this brand new gray wolf uh, 23 MK. Again, 5,200 pounds uh, it weighs, so you can tow this with a lot of different options out there. Uh, financing is available with approved credit. I'll post the links below with that. Trades are welcome. Not all RV dealers are wanting trades or giving you very fair value for your trade. Uh, we definitely do. We want your trade. So if you're looking to upgrade, uh, I'll post a link below for that as well. And then also there'll be a link there that has current pricing and availability of this trailer. Chances are by the time you're watching this video, this particular one might be sold, but we probably have another one in stock or coming in. So check out those links for our contact information to find out more about this trailer and other trailers we carry in stock. Thank you very much for watching.